My name is George Chung, and I direct More Equitable, More Equitable Democracy. We work at the intersection of racial equity and electoral systems reform. My favorite high school teacher used to say, you can't play the game if you don't know the rules. You can't play the game if you don't know the rules. He meant this about geometry, but as I've gotten older, I realize that this applies to so much in my life, particularly around elections. My first job out of college was as a civil rights investigator for state government. I was thrilled to, to do this work. I was standing on the shoulders of civil rights leaders who had given their blood, sweat, tears, and even lives in the name of justice and equality. During this time, I did a lot of thinking and reading of people like Lonnie Guineer about the intersection between racial segregation and political representation and landed on a big conundrum. On the one hand, my job was to enforce the Fair Housing Act, which at its core was about dismantling segregation, maybe more or less successful. And at the same time, in terms of redistricting, the main remedy under the Voting Rights Act is the creation of the majority minority district. In essence, this remedy under the Voting Rights Act requires segregation. And why is that? It's about the rules of the game. Our electoral system is called first past the post. How many of you have heard this term, first past the post? You might think that it's about a horse race, that it's the first horse that crosses the finish line. That's the horse that wins. Under first past the post, as it applies to electoral systems, it's the combination of single member districts and plurality voting. And under the system, if you are 40% of the votes, you win 100% of the representation. This was also mentioned in the smash hit 1980 song by my favorite band, ABBA, The Winner Takes It All. <laughs> Who knew that they were actually singing about electoral systems? And if you are a history buff, you might want to know, where does first past the post come from? It actually comes from our British colonial heritage. And frankly, only, with very few exceptions, former British colonies use first past the post. Oh yes, and there is the UK, and perhaps they're not the shining beacon of a functioning democracy at this moment. <laughs> Sorry. So what is a better system than first past the post? Two letters, PR. <laughs> PR, are you talking about a uh, public relations campaign for first past the post? No, not so much. I'm talking about proportional representation. Proportional representation is the combination of multi-member districts, let's say three to five, with ranked choice voting or another form of preferential voting. The idea is with 30% of the vote, you are likely to win 30% of the seats. And as it applies to communities of color, this is really critical. As an Asian American, our community has not experienced the same levels of segregation and housing discrimination that African Americans and Latinos have experienced. Under proportional representation, communities of color, regardless of how much they are segregated, are more likely to be able to elect candidates of their choosing. So the next time you think about electoral systems reform, remember, proportional representation is more equitable representation. Thank you.